I'm Jill Colvin. I am a national political reporter with the Associated Press. And former Vice President Mike Pence is one of the many candidates running for the Republican nomination for president in 2024. Pence had a long career in politics before he became former President Donald Trump's running mate. He served in the House of Representatives, representing Indiana, then became Indiana's governor. Um, he also spent some time as a conservative talk radio host, often describing himself as Rush Limbaugh on decaf. Uh, while he was in the White House, Pence was really known for his loyalty to Trump. He refused to ever criticize the former president in public, almost never um, had a negative word to say about anything that he did, and really spent his time sort of defending Trump's policies. He traveled a lot internationally, where he would sort of try to explain Trumpism on the national stage. He spent a lot of time with his former colleagues uh, in Congress, um, speaking to them, trying to get them on board various Trump initiatives uh, while he was in the White House. Now, the two of them finally did break, of course, after January 6th. Uh, this was a pivotal moment in the relationship between the two of them. Pence, after leaving office, really tried to play a very delicate dance. You know, over the months as he reemerged in public and began to make speeches, uh, he would criticize Trump for January 6th. President Trump's words were reckless. They endangered my family and everyone at the Capitol. Uh, while also continuously applauding the record of what he always refers to as the Trump-Pence administration. Where we created seven million good paying jobs, secured our border. Pence in this campaign has really tried to present himself as the true conservative in the race. He's spending a lot of time in Iowa. It's the state where he launched his presidential campaign. And he's trying to appeal to the evangelical conservative voters in that state, in other states, who support policies that he supports, things like a national ban on abortion. He talks a lot about parents' rights. He's somebody who, unlike Trump and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, has said, look, we need to look at entitlement things like Social Security, potentially raising the age of qualification to keep the system solvent. He's talked about a more aggressive foreign policy stance, including more support for Ukraine, very much supporting those Reagan-esque establishment Republican policies that were very much the norm for the party before Trump's sort of populist takeover really transformed the party in his image.